Woman Mary, I'm going to ask that we, um, the people who have been asked to come and speak, we be conscious of time. We are supposed to be finished by nine o'clock. As you would know, the regulations stipulate that funeral services are to last one hour. So at nine o'clock, we need to be finished and leaving this place. So I'm going to ask, if you have been asked to speak today, please be conscious of that fact. Secondly, I'm going to ask our MC, Andile, who will explain further the regulations um, for our gathering this morning. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Mutimi ya matawoshi, ntatia musa limo hau, ria ulebu uha, huseng halita ati mutimu wa rona. Ure tatai si ite ubilele rona hufisha mututungu na. Mejwa le haritile ukala tsebele toyena, e ukayo na haritile nguhupola mutuadi wa rona. Mutu ya kile ngainela bupilong bahaye, Husebeleza sechaba sama Afrika. Mudumaro na yeilenga dumela. Horebo pilo bahaye ibe mpo huru na. Leta tingle na mudumaro na urobit. Mekiro na bana ritile. Ritile huru huye na tamaya hante. Musebezo mutle upetile. So she, the audience, the mudimaro na le fatsing lena. Rekupa utlo mushono lo falese zona. Utle watu mele bana bahaye kamo hau mudimaro na metwale basebeti moho. Utle mudimaro na ba tlo lele le tsola ule le tuna usidi le masaba ba ipishelang baluhuona. Reatiba mudimaro na. Obani li fu kinto e busuku e risiang rete fule hile ma pilongaruna impari atiba boche banang litu melo huena le hali fu lika fisha harisi sinyehe muti muaruna kero na bana he muti muaruna hatilo kala tsebele zoena rukupa mohau wahau lele rato la hau diri etelle pele uri roti sete he kio hana muti mia mata wose. Hukaya hau ya meisha ya di shohono lo fatso. Ibali runa tebele zungena. All of this we pray in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who taught us that every time we gather, we shall say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Please, almighty God, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I will now invite Anila, who will lead the program for us. Welcome to all gather today. My name is Andy Lengube, and I've been asked to help the proceeds move along swiftly. Not something that one would like to do or even say, but unfortunately, we are governed by time and restrictions that we intend to keep today. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gathered on this auspicious day to pay our respects and to say our final goodbyes to Mam Mim. Kuksitwala, loved by many as a Mampinga. We do this at the most 
unprecedented time in our land, but also throughout the world. A time when the beloved Republic is plagued by this unknown pandemic. A pandemic I like to call a thief, because it is a thief of love. Because of it, we can't hold and hug you and whisper words as we need to do that into your ears. A thief of comfort and community, because look around you, the 50 odd people gathered here today are not a reflection of the monumental giant we are gathered here because. And I further would like to hurt you by giving you the restrictions that don't allow you to give each other comfort as you sit where you sit and ask you that at all times during this hour you keep your distance from each other for your sake and for the sake of those around you. For the thief has stolen that comfort from you too. When I think of Umampinga, Umameri, and a moment like this, what should befit her, I think of that beautiful scene in Sarafina where they sit at the graveyard and lay many to rest. I think of them in their uniforms and think of us in our black suits, all uniformed. I think of the beautiful songs that Kanyo sang, think, speaking of a better tomorrow. I think of the beautiful choreograph that spoke to a celebratory mood. That scene, those voices, that unity, that uniformity is what is worthy today. But alas, the thief has stolen that too. So to all of you, sisters, brothers, grandchildren, and children, please know that by keeping our distance, it is our way of saying we love you. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to repeat is Kati is on a sky down. I'm chanting, I'm going to make corner Kuluma, Zamuti, see Kork. For all of you that have joined us from across the globe and the world, I can imagine, please remember the hashtag that we're using is RIP Mary Twala. There are sanitizing stations all around the venue. Please do utilize them when you feel the need. Keep your distance at all times. And I will be adjusting the mic for you when you do come up here and sanitizing it for you. With that being said, I'd like to call on our first speaker, Uzane Letwala. Good morning. My name is Zanele Twala. I'm the younger sister to Mary Kruksi Twala. On behalf of the Twala family, I would like to thank you all for coming to celebrate the life of this legend. So please, I'll ask for her. Let's take a moment. Let's shift our thoughts from how much we will miss her to one of your own many funny, joking, laughing, happy times that you shared with her. Relieve those times and smile. Guxi, we did not see you close your eyes or hear your last faint sigh. We only heard that you were gone. Too late to say goodbye. Too late to hug you and let you know just how much we love you. To Swamizi, Thank you for being the loving, caring son. You looked after your mother till the end. We hurt with you. And we will always be there for you and love you unconditionally. 
to my sisters, T and Gabi. For almost 20 years, we've been the fabulous four daughters of Elizabeth Makambu Letwala. Now we're just the three musketeers. Let's keep the torch burning. Lalanga kolom dagama, tualam nyamand, shivagat, mkonto dumanjenge zulu, lukambule. Thank you. Gabongama Aglulanga in Desigion, but I think the weather outside is a telling sign of the monumental figure we're all gathered here to lay to rest. I'll be remiss not to mention that there are many around South Africa and the world who feel the loss because of their childhood memories, of their comforting figure that quotidianly has been there our entire lives as part of our families. Without fail, every day, weekly, she'd be there for all of us, albeit from a screen. She allowed us to gather, laugh, and share memories because of her work and in her own way, she went further by putting it out and bringing it out in her child. I stand here today because of Mambing, made possible by the industry she built. Gabonga, ma, ugutu stete le sibe matlombe nako. Pumula, you will remain a standard bearer for the creative arts. Si oza manja alo, kwa tu kufeza wa kufeza wena, kyo fana no glande lutala kunja alo. Like I'd said, mine here will be short as to allow yours to be a little bit, a little bit more comfortable. But the restrictions and rules do insist that we are a little bit quicker. Gabonga <laughs> Ngaba umtwana kababa undaba mshongo. Na mshanji ngikulide ngizo kulumela abaga mshongo. Ngizo oti ee kubani baga tola siyabonga. Sengi ndota ngikulide ngifingi mngani ngifike laga tuwala. Ukusoka wami inatari ngizala ikodi. Nguba ngize ngumsebe nzi. Nange talente abange palona abazalibame. Mama ngichi na mshanji siza obonga uguti ee. Wagwazi ustunela ubaba, siyaz gunzima, uguti ubaba no mama basali is kati city, is katin is lali de nubaba, siya bonga, siya bagam shongo, uguti nim tati ubaba e tegwin, nadman figa la iku is langana nawe mama twala, wa figu wam fuga med, wam fanga pasgu kwa palaku, waba umdin waku, nam sanje, ging numdin waga twala, gingayaku mama. Mama a ang pripelang ama amazu amaning ge pangiazi ubi intando gazi to memshope ginsi zo namshanje kulile giazi kenya u mama ko mama bonga ba ko nemshabeni ge kulile namshanje gindo ta ematuteni genga ya ko ge figa guwe ekuodingi gazi luto wangfaga ekuapenla ko angenza umtwana wako 
wangtrina wazo kwa bana mshange uche noma ususu hamba wabasi tuzo kwa mna ngaso songe iskat umama kwenye amazi yangu sisi amigu umama begu ipawe angzuba mutengi mfishane zote kapu kapu be umtuli umfundi sa ugning yiko nzuba mvali sa njenga ngoma e wali ngangi tala ngazi mangalufira e kodi e soko ni njia mbola kipsin kendi ngangi tanda sengo chini tu kiti kuku kuku hamba hamba mama hamba mama Mary no magu bushungu mausushi le siyo shala si gutanda gentli ziusi tu Hamba ma ma. Even though I'm vocally wounded, but I would like to say thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mama. Uba nindle la entle. So shall I see kumbule nga sosonge skati. See ya buwanga. Gabonga Mazu. I caught an interview that Umam Lillian Duba did during the week, speaking to the SAPC. She says, I'd always say to Mary, Mary Minanya Chola, Buenu Chola Nobani. And she says, Mary would always answer, I minang joli undaba oyang vagashela every night min. And being a sucker for love as I am, a lover of love, a romantic of sort in idealism anyway. Although horrible at it, as Somizi reminds me often, I shed a tear for my friend for his loss. But I smiled when I thought of a love rekindled. I thought of a speech I gave at your wedding where I asked you and wished for you a patient love, a love of old, a love our parents used to have. And I now get that that smile was you agreeing because you knew of that love, that love existed in your home, that love existed with your parents. And a love story that began over 40 years ago will continue. And the love lover in me could only smile when I imagine your father, Lo Ayatram Varashela every night, seeing his beautiful Mary approach. And gave me a bit of a smile to say we may have lost, but our loss is a gain to some. A love story continues today. A love at first, second sight will unfold. Ladies and gentlemen, in keeping it moving, may I please ask Wesley Gaynor to come and speak on behalf of the amount of work, the mammoth work that allows people like myself to be able to stand in this industry that she was able to conclude in the business sector with Umam Meritwala as her agent. A team that is unequaled in the amount of work they were able to do, even late into Umam Meritwala's career. Wesley Gaynor.
You know, with masks, we all look the same. We all do. So here he is. Um, this is a very strange time for me, and I'm certain everybody feels the same. If anybody knows me, you'd know that I have a very soft spot for older people. And not in a sugar mama kind of way, because Mary was diabetic. But in a, a way that was very soulful with Mary. And so naturally our team was very protective over her space and her time on set. Myself, Muni Lee, and Ashoda Billy, a team of six who for about 30 years managed Mary's career. And my most fondest memory with Mary is walking to a car after every meeting. And what I've learned most from Mary is to honor the craft more than the award. And she's subscribed to four basic rules, respect, love, dedication, and loyalty. And that was the foundation of her career. And what we've witnessed over Mary's span is the life of a performer. She's given her life for her craft. And we can only hope that her life heeds a call to our leaders, that her work is not a sport, it's not a culture, it's art. Her art has bagged awards and has even gained the attention of Beyonce. So in a strange way, when I look at Mary, we all have a little bit of Mary in us. In life, she's your mother, she's your gogo, she's your sister. She's that one aunt that loves laughing and gossiping. We have to honor these souls, and it starts with us. It starts with you, you noticing this. And so my message to her family, her children, her fans, in your time of grieving, celebrate her life. And when it gets quiet, because it will get quiet, think of a life in this sort of relay race that we're running. Think of a legacy as a baton. When her time is up, she passes it over to you. It's not over, it's just your turn. And we have to stop and notice this. And with that, um, some of her peers and close friends have left this little video that you guys will see now. Thank you. And I would like to thank Ukoko Umamu Meritwala for all the talent, the talent, the entertainment, the fun she's had on stage, the fun on TV and the Aguma movies. I was privileged to see Mr. Laigu Paradise Top, Mr. Naifuti, Frank and Fearless. What a professional. You know, I have to make sure that when she delivers whatever she delivers, she does it professionally. It's been a cool Ukoko Nyatala. And this morning, I'm calling all Congo Sense Eleven. Tina, it's a second, it's a seller. A good industry. We begin to get back. Sagwanga cool. How how about you? Who are you? I'm sure fun. Yes, we will. Let's take it on the north. Love you. Once every two seconds, a new life is given to the world and is cast into the movie stream, which is the force of history. Sooner or later, as all human beings have done since the beginning of time, each individual begins his search for a faith by which to live. And in his quest for that faith, each turns to something higher than himself, a body of ideals which promises to give meaning 
to his life. Mama Mary Twala, what's her Mikile Mewaga? No production in Longo Rilla, I produce a paradise stop. Got the year 2000. Mama Run, Robala got caught with him. Hi, keep Presley I just want to take this moment to pay my last respects to Mama Meritwala Robalaka Kozo Mama. You'll always be loved and missed. We'll remember you always. Sis Mary Twala Lala Sis Lala Mam Kumula Sis was seven zil in this industry. From those days they apartheid until was Wapela apartheid. Until Nanam Sanje, an artist is still working under those conditions. Ozazio, you survived, you worked until the last day. You are a real legend. Sukshailin de Shen, Mama, Sakshonipa, Pumula, Lalangokolo, Osishele Iligas. We are following in your steps. Lala Sitandwa, Lala Upumle. Lala Sitandwa Lalu Pumule Dumelan Bahesu Naka Lebizo Kijere Mufuken Wama Het E Hutamavat Joey Mary Twan I was around thirteen, fourteen when I saw her in Leifa at Uncle Tom's Hall, early 70s. And then in the 90s, I reconstructed that play and then saw her in last year's film, 50 years later. That's what distinguishes artists. You see, stars expire, artists live forever. May her soul rest in peace. Often, when we were casting, we'd say, mm, Mary could do that, and she could. But the thing is, there would be pretty much nobody else that could do that role the way that she could. She was a completely unique being. And there are very few people like that in the world. We were privileged to have her on Zone 14. And what a great, buoyant, laughing presence she was and what a deep talent she can move you and boy she can make you laugh a lot well, mary you have you leave a huge hole on our television and movie screens that i'm not sure how we will fill but i'm very grateful that we have sumizi who too is a wonderful and a mischievous spirit. And in a way, you will live on through his grand adventures. My name is Carol Bauer. I am the convener of the Mbogoda Awards. And it gives me great pleasure to join you today as we celebrate a life so well lived. A roadmap so clear, all of us know how to go forward. Mama's life has been exemplary for many years. For all of us who grew up watching that black and white television, seeing her works, being inspired by her, watching her together with her husband, and wishing on a lucky star that one day we would have careers a fraction of what she was achieving then under difficult circumstances under apartheid. And she made it look so easy, so seamless. She made it seem like it was something attainable for all of us. And indeed, she did so because she knew that she was planting the seeds so it could be attainable for everyone that looked like her. We thank you, Mama, for everything that you've done for us. We also thank you that your legacy lives on, not only through your work, on television, on stage, even in film, but also through the seeds that you planted 
in your son, Sumizi, who has been part of almost every important and iconic moment in our nation. And we see now, as we celebrate yet another icon, Brenda Fassi, through your granddaughter, Bahumi Lerona Rehumile. We thank you. We thank you for everything you've done for this nation. You've given everything. There is not a part of you that we are not consuming today. Culturally, we are richer for having had your family. Culturally, we are empowered for having watched you. We celebrate you today. We are not mourning. You've given everything you could. And we say, we thank you. We celebrate you. We honor you. Sabonga, kutawa telu rupe kama lupe. What is a mother? Who is a mother? Science often tells us that there's a group of words used by children from birth till they begin to talk. And amongst that group of words, mama is the most common first word that a child uses alongside with dada, baba, and bye-bye. It's almost as if life is trying to, at a very young age, tell us something with those words. Because here we are, gathered to use those words in an order that hurts. We saw Somizi's relationship with his mother unfold before our eyes 
from a young age in the many movies that were cast together and many dramas and television series that they engaged on. We further saw it more in the last couple of years on his own show. We saw a mother who came from a different time and age to many parents today accept her child for everything that he is and unveil a red carpet that will allow him to shine. There's a moment at his wedding where he goes to his mom before getting married and he says, I felt like an angel was watching me from a realm beyond this. Ladies and gentlemen, please assist me as I ask and call on my friend to come and repeat some of the words he first said soon after being born. Mama and bye-bye. So amazing -bye. song. I've been thinking what am I going to say and I couldn't come up with anything. Um, I don't know where to start. I've always dreaded this day where I'll be speaking at my mother's funeral and I think that's everyone's nightmare, every child's nightmare. Um, and finally, it's here. And it's the complete opposite of what I had in mind. In my mind, I had planned that when my mother passes on, I'm going to bury her in the cheapest coffin ever. I'm going to have one rose on the coffin. And reason for that was that I'd reached a stage where I was really proud of what I've done for my mother. Because I've seen people showering their parents when they're dead with expensive coffins and expensive funerals because of guilt that they were not there when they were alive. So with me, it was a matter of pride to say she smelled the flowers while she was still alive. And today, she's in the most beautiful coffin and the most beautiful decoration. But also it's because she asked for it. She said she wants a lot of flowers. And she said it, funny enough, on Saturday. Before she passed on, she told the doctor that she wants a lot of flowers. And she wants to be dressed in the same dress she wore at the wedding, at our wedding. And this is just for her. <sighs> Um, my mother was a very successful woman in every aspect, at home, in her profession. 60 years in show business is no child's play. The most disciplined, her work ethic is amazing. If I could achieve a quarter of what my mother had achieved, I would have made it. 
very generous, very cheeky, very optimistic. I have, you know, every time I call my mother, the first word she would say, hello, darling, and then everything else would just be okay. I'm not sad because my mother is gone. I'm just sad because my umbilical cord has been cut completely. But I am so at peace with what my mother has achieved. She's seen me walking down the aisle. She's seen her granddaughters. She's seen her sisters, her families. She loved her family. Her family loved her. I would like to thank South Africa as well for really loving my mother. A lot of people when their parents, especially in the show business, when they pass on, they still have that pain that our parents were not appreciated. I would be lying if I say my mother was not appreciated. MLA, Wesley, you guys, you have done amazing for my mother. Thank you. South Africa, you have shown my mother the presidency and the president. You have really given my mother flowers when she, she could still smell them. Anything that happens after this is just a bonus. It's not out of guilt. It's not out of trying to make up. You have nothing to make up. Everyone in South Africa, rest assured, you have nothing to make up for. You have, you have loved my mother. I would like to say to my mother, thank you Thank you for instilling everything that I am today. And my mother was also the most punctual person I know, so I know that even her death was on time. And her timing is always impeccable to a point where she lives just around my dad's birthday and she's buried on my husband's birthday. That is my mother for you. So, Mama Nyabonga ga cool Nyabonga. Mwanga yon kinto unpeyona. And I know I've lost a mother on earth, but I've gained the most powerful ancestor. Don't be surprised. Anyone shouldn't be surprised if I rise beyond because I've got the most generous ancestor. And mama, I know how when you're angry, how you become. So I promise never to make you an angry ancestor because I don't want you on the wrong side of anything. It's a good way. Thank you for everything. I love you. You have lived. You are one mother I'll boast about. But more than anything, Ubuntu Bako, you will never, never for once wanted to be called a celebrity or to be, to be, you know, worshipped or, you know, you just wanted to do your job. One person who's worked from your Quincy Joneses, to your Michael Jacksons, and lastly to your Beyonces, and still it didn't phase you because you just wanted to do your job. And talking about timing again, this is how my mother would have wanted her funeral to be because she is the person that she is. She does things from the heart and it ends there. And I don't feel bad at all about this setup. This is exactly how she would have loved it to be. She would have been very shy because I know South Africa would have wanted to celebrate her. But lastly, Lala Ngotolo, Mom, I love you. Pumula, Skonzele Pambini. Thank you.
I love you. Of course. Oh, I love you too. You turn a flower. I know. What are you going to do? I know. I'm going to give you a shake. I'll be, I'll be my happiest love. We're going to kiss Eileen. Exactly. Come on, man. 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 I'm not going to be able to do it. What? It's not going to be able to do it. Very much. For me, I think. Very, very, very much. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. All the rest. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. Spot on was also amazing because many of us in this industry, in fact, under 1% of us will reach the heights Uma Meritwala reached because she was awarded, not an awards, on an award stage where many are singing and in jubilation and celebration. She was awarded in the presidency, the order of Ikamanga. Ikamanga, for those of us who've had to go and look further into it, is one of the world's most sought out flowers that grows wildly in the Eastern Cape. It's a South African honor, the greatest honor to anybody in their creative arts to have received it. And she is one of very few that will ever receive such an award. Indeed, a great. Undaba Mklongo is an amazing ancestor because my generation is already struggling to get jobs because it's so many Tata Zong. Children, they're going to have it even tougher because we'll have the two of them looking down on them and blessing them. But I'm going to tell you that I'm going to advert on Instagram. Because I'm going to see you. Because your great ancestors will be looking down on you. With that being said, for the obituary reading, I'd like to call up Bahumi Mthongo and Upumzi Letwalo.
Good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Pumzile. Uma is, was my grandmother. And it's, this is still surreal to me. It's, it's not registering yet. But I want to thank Ma for being a presence in our life. She made sure that she was with family every day. When she did that, uh, those moments we just felt like she was being too much, but now it makes sense because she made sure that she spent time with us. Every single day we saw Ma, she would drive from Abetla to Orlando every single day. So as the children and grandchildren, we got to see her and experience her. We'll no longer hear, oh my beautiful, oh my darling, you look so beautiful. And that will always stay with us. I want to thank Ma for loving us and supporting us when we needed her, even though sometimes we didn't understand, but she was always who she was through and through. We love you, Ma, and I just want to say that she was the same till the end. And that teaches me how to be genuine, to be who I am through and through, and not pretend. I don't have any much to say. Mary Guxitwala Mampinga. Passed away peacefully at the age of 79 in Park Lane Hospital on the morning of July 7th, 2020. Mary was a performance phenomenon, a preeminent eminent rare talent globally with a beautiful and vigorous soul that occupied the room. Born in Orlando East Soweto, she was the oldest of eight siblings. She spent her primary years at the Dutch Reform School and later transferred to the Methodist School on Albert Street in Johannesburg. She was raised by her mom Kulu, Gelane Twala, who together relocated to Swaziland, where she spent her high school years attending the Swazi National High School. <laughs> Growing up, Mary and her siblings would leisurely audition for television roles as extras, where a whopping 50 rand payment assured them of their wealthy status. <laughs> Oddly, acting was not in the pipeline for Twala but her actions met destiny when she accompanied her late younger sister, Sister Gigi, and a friend, Saki, to an audition for a Gibson Kenter production. Though she only tagged along to watch them. During that audition, however, Gibson noted Mary's reaction towards the musicians when they were singing off key. He realized that, that was more, there was more to her than, than that that met, that met the eye and went to Mary's home to ask her mom if she could join the production. Mary's mother con confidently um, agreed because Vele Uya Papa, she said. Mary traded in her factory boots for stage and was cast as the lead in Gifton Kente's play, replacing Margaret Singane in Sicalo, featuring in Mama and the Land, and How Long and Lifa. It was during this very production that she met the love of her life and late husband, Ndabam Thongo, and thus marked the beginning of their career together. Her siblings had always known Mary to have a vibrant personality, but meeting Dabe incited it. Together they were, an animated mega ta they were animated mega talents, bubbly, corresponding their outfits and learning so much from each other. Upon his uh, unfortunate passing, her sister recalls Mary's blissful devotion to her memory saying she wore her wedding ring to the very last of her days her highest accolades and most memorable roles include 
playing the mother of Leleti Kumalo in Sarafina, her role in Ubizo, her role in um, Maku, Makumbu, sorry, U Makambule in Squeezes, and receiving the Golden Horn Award for the Best Actress, and was bestowed the Order of Ikamanga from President Cyril Ramaphosa in 2019. She is survived by her three sisters, Sti, Zanele, and Gapsile. Her children, Joyce and Somizi. Her grandchildren, Pumzile Woli and Bahumi. Her great-grandchildren, Luanza, Lente, and Lisedi. Reverend. Thank you, um, Andile. Friends, we find our reading from the book of Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 3. And we will start reading from verse 1 up until verse 14. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. <clears throat> a time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones, and a time to gather them up, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain, a time to search, and a time to give up, a time to keep, and a time to throw away. A time to, to tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. What does the worker gain from his toil? I have seen the burden God has laid on men. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the hearts of men, yet they cannot fathom what God has done from the beginning to end. I know that there is nothing better for men than to be happy and do good while they live, that everyone may eat and drink and find satisfaction in his toil. This is the gift of God. I know that everything that God does will endure forever. I know that everything God does will endure forever. Nothing can be added to it and nothing taken from it. God does it so that men will revere him. This is the word of God. Thanks to God for his word. To the Twala and Mshongo families, friends and colleagues gathered here this morning, 
let me once again take this time to greet you in that wonderful and gracious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let me also take this moment to say to the entire family, on behalf of the millions and millions of the people who were fans of Umama, let me say to you, I am deeply sorry for your loss. I cannot claim to know what you are going through as a family. But I can imagine it is not easy. Because it is never easy to lose a loved one. All that we can do when we lose a loved one is to treasure the memories is to treasure the times that we spend together. I always hear people say that time heals everything. And therefore, you should give it time. I am sorry, I don't agree with that. Time heals nothing. Time heals absolutely nothing. However, it is what you do in that time that will determine whether you find your healing or you get stuck in the pain and in the turmoil of life. Because if you want to sit around and hope that time will heal you, time will not. Time only presents us with an opportunity to make a choice. A choice whether we wallow in self-pity or we get up shake off the dust and be active participants in our healing process. And so if you want to sit in your sorrow, that is your choice. If you want to be stuck in the rut of your pain, that is your choice. But if you want to look into the future, it becomes important for you to get up, shake off the dust, and wait for tomorrow. Many people during a time like this will always say we should celebrate the life of the one who has passed on because of the memories, because of the experiences we have together. Indeed, we should celebrate people's lives. In this case, we should celebrate the life of Umam Mary because she was a vibrant person. But I also want to say it is important to mourn her loss. Whilst we celebrate life. We should also remember that this person we will no longer see. We will remember her, we will celebrate her, but we should also mourn her passing. So please, as you celebrate her life, find time to mourn her passing. The Botswana people have a beautiful hymn that they sing, particularly around a time such as this. 
Part of that hymn says, If it hile na koyame, tiro iweditwe, tumelo khairurumi. The time has come. All that needed to be done is done. And my faith is unshaken. The reality of life is that under the moon and the sun, there is a place and a time for everything. As Solomon says in the book of Ecclesiastes, as he goes to great length to contrast the good and the bad, that there is, there is time for birth and there is also time for death. And a time for death is a reality that no man can escape. We can do all that we do, but we cannot escape the reality of death. Death is a reality that we face every day. It is something that lives with us, that comes to us, whether we are expecting it or not, whether we want it to come or not, it will always knock at our door. Can never run away from it. It is a reality that even at the height of our joy, we acknowledge. When, when we share our vows at the wedding, we acknowledge death because we, we commit ourselves to each other and we say, till death do us. But so even at the height, of our joyous moments, we recognize the reality that death is part of our journey and is part of our human experience. In this life that we live, there is a time for us to meet as people, but there is also time for us to part. And of course, when we meet together, we are filled with joy, we are filled with happiness. Meeting with people is always exciting. Even with its challenges and all that it brings, we find joy in being together. We find joy in being together, even going through struggles, we find joy being together. With all the struggles and all the challenges, as we try to figure out life together. But unfortunately, in this life, we can never be together forever. There comes a moment when we have to part, and parting is part of our human experience. Brutus, br not, not Brutus from the Queen, Brutus says to Cassius, as Shakespeare records their conversation in Julius Caesar, he says, no, Cassius, no. Think not thou, noble Roman, that ever Brutus will go bound to Rome. He bears too great a mind, but the same day must end that, that work the eyes of much begun. And whether we shall meet again, I know not. Therefore, our everlasting farewell take. Forever and ever farewell, Cassius. If we do meet again, we shall smile. If not, why then this parting was well made? And, and Cassius responds to Brutus and says, forever and forever farewell, Brutus. If we do meet again, we'll smile indeed. If not, it's true this parting was well made. So the time for us to part no Mamu Mary has come. Her time to meet her creator has come. The time for you as a family to walk into the future without her has come. And all we can do is to hold on to the memories of her life. To you, she was your mother. To you, she was your grandmother. 
To you, she was your aunt, she was a sister. And to some, she was a friend. And to others, she was a talent that kept many South Africans glued to the screens to see the talent that she was. Short and small in stature, but a great giant in the industry that she gave so much of herself for, for over 60 years. With all her achievements, with all the recognitions, the time has come. The time to meet her creator has come. The time for her to rest has come. The time for her to bask in the presence of the glory of God and for her to, re to be a recipient of the promises of Jesus Christ as it is recorded in the Gospel of John, chapter 14, where Jesus says, do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God, trust in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going to prepare a place for you. And so, Mom Mary today becomes the recipient of the promise of God. That, that where Jesus is, she too will be. And that time for her has come. The time has come for her to meet her forebears as they will wel welcome her home saying, um zamum le, o because she did the best that she could. So Ms. and the family, Mom Mary now joins a cloud of witnesses as it is recorded in the book of Hebrews chapter 12. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles us. And let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us. I want to invite you as a family to run this race, this, use this time to run this race with your eyes fixed to Christ, who will be your healing, who will bring you restoration in your brokenness. Run this race with perseverance, with your eyes fixed on Christ, not on anything else. This is the time for you as a family to cast your eyes on Christ as he takes you through this journey. Because this journey, I am telling you for free, you will not make it on your own. And so I want to ask you, as a family, may you find this time of loss as a time for you to find each other, to hold on to each other, and to hold on to the promises that Christ makes. It is very unfortunate that the regulations do not allow us to go any further. But I want to say to you as a family, cast all your burdens unto Christ, for he cares for you. Let me conclude by saying, one of my favorite verses in the Bible is Psalm 23, verse 4, which says, Though I may walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. Recognize that you do not walk alone. Even if you can go through the darkest, deepest valleys, you do not walk alone. You go with Christ. And so recognize that David is not afraid 
to walk in the valley, to walk in the shadows. Because we all know, for the shadows to exist, there is always light on the other side. It might be your time to walk through the shadows, but believe me, there is light that awaits you on the other side. Allow mama to rest as you celebrate her life and mourn her passing. May God bless you now and always. Amen. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Raule boha he mutimia lukileng harifikile na konyena mauritileng hotswa ka hari ho kerekena. Samaya le rona he ke hona mutimia lukileng o re tata ise re be re lo fihla mabitleng mo re lo siang melo wa motswa di wa rona. Raule boha kile na le lapa re le phamisetsa go wena. Mere ko pa o tlo ba shebe ka mohau le le rato. Tsena re di ko pa le bitsong le le tlela Jesu Christ mo rena wa rona. Me mohau wa mo rena wa rona Jesu Christ. Le rato la modimo ntate ko pone ma tsiriso le moyo ga lalelang. Ti re boloke tsole ka o sa feeling. Amen. Let me ask the Paul bearers to please come forward as we will mama out of the church. Thank you. If I may please ask the Paul Bears to step forward and Omar Rebecca Malope to sing us out. The weather forecast said today would be one of the coldest days in recent history. To the Twilight and Klonga family, I agree. May you find warmth at this time. As we prepare to leave, there will be a viewing of Uma for those that would wish to do so, but I ask that we do so within the regulations and rules, coordinatedly stand in the rows that we are in, and proceed to view Uma. And during this, I will step aside and allow Uma, Dr. Rebecca Malope Guti, as keeping eye as the Nenanga in Gom.